Welcome. Welcome to American Alpha Male. I'm glad you're here. Blessed that you're here. All I ask that you do is participate in the question I'm going to ask. Give me some feedback. Let me know what y'all like. Let me know your dislikes. Hold on. zombies if you were about to receive something and you could double it but if you double it you had to give it to somebody what would it be and who would you give it to it's got to be good i think i don't know be curious to read the comments on this one be right but don't say it What do you <laughs> be right? But don't say it. I mean, if I'm right, I, I need to tell people I'm right. I'm right. Listen, I said this was the truth and this is the truth. So I should say it. that only works in media. It only works in online stuff. But you personally know as an alpha male, you have to live with the results. You don't live with people telling you you're right. It'll boost ego too much. You'll always believe you're right. But let's break down to a couple of different reasons why you need to just be right and don't say it. Feelings. A lot of people these days, they don't argue the facts. They only argue feelings. They'll say stuff like, I feel I think, or it should be. They'll never say factually based upon this study, this is how I got my conclusion. I argue feelings because feelings tend to motivate a person more than the facts. I could give you a fact and I could say this isn't fact, but if it was proven to be fact, let me say this again. What I'm about to say is not a fact, but if it was proven to be a fact, People will still fight it based on their feelings or intuition. I could say, if you practice something a thousand times, you will master it. You know one of the first things these people will do? They'll complain about it. Man, I can't do that. They won't even attempt to look and how it could be done. I had a show that I was doing on Facebook. It was called Regular Old People. And one of the questions I would ask these individuals was a simple question. Male and female. Can we get rid of jails? Nah, we can't get rid of jails. Nah, blah, 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 blah. No, we can't do this. No, we can't do that. We can't get rid of jails. I'm thinking to myself, shut up. So what I did was I baited him. Cheese, rat trap. What I did was simple. I took a fundamental idea, which is not truth, and I shook it up and turned it on his head, and I said, do you still see the picture? And these people said yes. Now I realized, and I turned it upside down and shook it. Why would I turn it upside down? Because if you look at a picture and you turn it, the other way, your eyes tend to always go to the same point of that. But if I mess up the picture and turn it upside down, you'll get back to originally what you look at in a picture. So what I did was simple. All I did was say, hey, how about if you only did a crime like this? Instead of going to jail here, we'll give you something else. You go to this house over here. Instead of going to jail, how about we start investing in the early programs that get to spot these type of things? You know, most of the people who have been touched had already been touched by somebody previously. Bet a lot of people didn't know that. Bet a lot of people didn't know that a lot of these young men, anger comes from not knowing their father so they don't know who they're supposed to look like or be with or try to emulate so they don't know what a father is so they go around searching for anything that looks like a male smells like a male or even sometimes pretends to be a male 
So how do we keep the father in the household? How do we keep him from being angry? How do we keep him from taking penitentiary chances? The ones who actually want to work. Give them skills. If a man has stolen something, put his ass in a program to get him a job. Make him go do the program, get a job, and pay back restitution, but double it. And if you stole $500, you got to pay back $1,000. you are going to be in a high-intensity program that says you have to do this 1,000 times before you can leave out of here. And guarantee that would change a lot of lives. But it's not based in fact. Only feelings. A lot of these people, they hold on to feelings because feelings... Sometimes, not all the times, even though it's factually proven that your intuitions are actually more wrong than they are right. You can go study that up. There's a lot of psychology tests and a lot of results driven tests that have shown your intuition is actually wrong. But people are going to fight that based on feelings because they're going to say, well, this one time, but not all the time. Whoa, 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 whoa. This one time instead of using the power of deduction. They operate off of feelings, so you can't fight feelings. Be right, but don't say it. A lot of these people's whole reputation is based off one of the other reasons. I mean, we get into the other reason. The other reason is it's based off the need to be right. I have to be right. I have to. Because if I'm not right, what am I? This is how a lot of these people think. So this is why you just need to be right and not say it. Because no matter what, they're going to take it as, this is all I got. You're a multitude of things as an alpha male. And being right about everything ain't one of them. It's your ability to take ideas and change your goddamn perception. Your ability to see a goddamn problem coming and stopping it before it gets there you may have a mindset that says i like to do this i like to do that but in your heart of hearts you know that you shouldn't be doing it so you change because you understand it's wrong but these type of people nah they just need to be right they need to be right because that's all they have you ever seen a man who was Hell bent on making sure that he was this one thing and somebody came along and they took it from him and now he sits there, arms folded, and he looks diminished because he has nothing else to offer. Some of these people, all they had to offer is their need to be right. As sad as it may sound and as sad as it is, that's it. All they can be is right. They cannot expand to other theories. They're the ones who are still shopping at Blockbuster mentally. They never can adapt to the streaming service. They just can't. One of the greatest inventions that can have that can actually happen. As if we're able to provide movies to people offline. Whoa. Where you can have your phone in airplane mode. And all you need to do is put in this little cord. Like we used to do with USBs and your laptops. And you can watch all these movies. Whoa, you can do that for this. But it has to be multiple. It has to be compatible to multiple sources. I mean multiple things, pardon me. Well, all you need to do is plug it up and it'll start playing on anything. Billion dollar idea. No internet needed. But nobody wants to sell those type of things because that costs thousands of dollars. But uh, <laughs> if you said all you needed, this is just going to be good for 30 days. Then you have to get another one. That could work. But nobody wants to do that. Because they have the need to be right. The person who has the need to be right is one of the softest individuals you'll ever meet. 
because this is all he could ever be. And he doesn't want to be anything else. This is his special power that he found. And when you take it from him, ain't no telling what he's going to do. Be right and don't say it because you'll come against the idiotic individual. The idiotic individual always does the what about isms. You can literally say, that's not true because of this. And when you say that, they'll say, well, what about this? Huh? Hey, idiot, stick to what we're talking about right here. Be right, don't say it, because you're going to run into idiotic individuals with all the what about isms and stuff like that. Some of the words you had to use for some of these people, not the idiotic individual, not the people with the need to be right, not the people with feelings, but the people who sit up here. You had to sit up here and find the individuals that you could converse with when you have these type of discussions. And you got to say, if you were based with, if you were given the actual facts, could you change your mind and be an advocate with the actual facts? Or do you have to be one of those people with the need to be right? You had to set them up this way. Because they had to get off their high horse. Well, I mean, this is what I believe. But if I had actual, if I had facts that conflicted with it and I accepted it as facts, then yeah, I could. Then you dive into what they would accept as facts. That's how you fight those individuals. But a lot of these idiotic individuals, they can't do it. They can't do it. Well, what about this? What about that? None of that makes any sense to the argument that you're having. And it's not really an argument. It's just a clash of ideas. But they're stuck on that because it's their ideal. So as an alpha male, you had to be right, but don't say it. Just be right. Don't worry about the results and all of that stuff and everything like that. It's not a part of your makeup. Just know that you're educated. Know that you're knowledgeable. And know what they're saying is bullshit. And even though what they're saying is bullshit, we all get it. We have to sit around and go, hmm. Yeah, I know. I know you're full of shit. Let them have it. We don't care. Can't sit at our table any goddamn ways. We don't want people like that around. If I'm ever presented with facts, I have to change. Because I don't want to take the wrong shit and pass it as truisms. But the idiotic individual. Avoid this person. And one of the ways you can identify an idiotic individual is they use what about isms. Be right, but don't say it because what'll happen is it'll turn into personal attacks. Well, that's true, but remember you did this? Like what? Bro, all I said was this TV show didn't come out this year. The actual website of this TV show says that it came out this year. You're mistaken. But you're a person who does this. You're a person who does this. You're a person who does that. You're a person who does this. You're a person who does that. You're a terrible person. So why would we take the facts from you because you're a terrible person? It doesn't matter if the facts came from a murderer himself. If it's true, it's true. But they don't care. They're going to personally attack you. Because it's hard for those individuals to come off of that. So instead of doing that, we negate the facts that you just said and turn it into personal attacks. It happens all the time. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I get all that, but <coughs> him right there, he double dips the chip. No, 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 no. I hear what he's saying, but he double dips the chip. He's a horrible person. I hear what he's saying, but he's the person who does this and does that. I hear what you're saying, but this and that and this and that and this and that. And now you're sitting there. You have to do what? Personally attack back. 
Now we're not talking about the clash of ideas and arguments. You're not doing that anymore. You got knocked off your horse. And once you got knocked off your horse, you can't ride no more. Get knocked off your horse and see what the hell happens. See, the personal attacks are nothing but deflections from the truth. And the truth of the matter is, they can't handle the truth. No. But you can't handle personal attacks. And when you start to go back and forth with personal attacks, you might find out that you may hit them somewhere where they don't want to be hit, and then they're going to lie on you. Yeah, all right, Sadie Nash. You might have said this truth about me, but let me lie about you. I heard you like to push little kids in the pool when they when nobody's looking. You just lied. Now I got to defend that against a lie. I don't do that. What the hell are you talking about? Oh, I heard this person over here. They told me. I hear about it all the time. You're the person who pushed kids in the pool when their parents ain't looking. What the hell? And now you have to waste time on dispelling their rumor, their bullshit. How does that work? Oh, because it worked. They do personal attacks. Because personally, they're a shit person. But also, be right and don't say it. Because at the end of the day, facts and data changes. They do. We used to get told all the time, Sir, Mr. Nash, you drink eight waters a day. Eight cups of water a day. That's what you're supposed to drink. Understood. But the facts and the data changed up. Why did it change? Because there is water in almost everything that we eat. Nobody accounted for that. It's amazing, isn't it? The facts and the data changed. They start telling people, stop drinking cold water. Because you could go into hypothermia. That's true. The facts and the data change because people weren't looking at it. Nobody conducted these studies. Nobody. See, if you shoot up about five degrees, we don't even say five, we'll say four degrees higher in your body, you can cool down. But it's hard as hell once it's four degrees lower from your normal body temperature, you are damn near screwed. And it's going to be hard to Warm you up. It's easy to cool you down. Put ice pack here, ice pack here, ice pack at the back of the neck, ice pack on the chest. But try that with some goddamn heat. It ain't going to work. We used to think, oh, man, if you're walking across an iced over river, that goodness if you fell in, just get to the next place. Just keep on going. And when you keep on going, hurry up and get out. It's not true. What do you mean it's not true? If you walk and it cracks, go back where you came from. It was strong there. It already has support already there. You don't know what the unknown has. But we were used to being told if it cracks, hurry up and go because your momentum has shifted you forward anyways. It's a head start. Not true. But here's the biggest thing, especially for baseball fans. Be right and don't say it. Because it's just like a pitcher throwing a pitch. You see it coming, smacking the home run. Don't say nothing. Just try because you knew it was going to happen. And that's how the greats get it done.
That's how the greats get it done. The greats aren't the greats because they sit there and they celebrate what they're supposed to do. Supposed to do that. Just make the extraordinary look regular. That's how being right is supposed to be. You're supposed to be right because you're supposed to attack it from multiple angles. But be right don't say it because of feelings, because of people's need to be right, because of the idiot individual, because of personal attacks, and ultimately because you could be wrong. I'll catch you on the next video. Thank you.